Imagine that we have two DP transmitters. The first transmitter is having an output of 5 power, which is the HP minus LP, and the second transmitter is having 5 power, which is the output HP minus LP. So, are these both experiencing the same pressure? The answer to it is no, they are not experiencing the same pressure. Let's look into a practical case. So, for example, for the first transmitter, the HP side is experiencing 55 power, and the LP side is experiencing 50 bar. So, HP minus LP is 5 power. For the second transmitter, the HP is experiencing 255 bar, which is pretty huge. And the LP side is experiencing 250 bar. Thus, the output again is 5 bar. So these both are not experiencing the same pressure. There is something called as common pressure here. If you notice here, for the first case, 50 bar is commonly hitting both the legs. While for the second case, 250 bar is hitting commonly between the both the legs. So you notice something, both the transmitters are not experiencing the same pressures. Now we look into the case where what is this thing called as common pressure in the engineering world this is called as something which hits both the legs at the same time of a DP transmitter and is termed as static pressure but this static pressure is very dangerous and can damage the transmitters in this video I'll show you actually real life example of a pressure transmitter that has been used worldwide and also how can you mitigate this issue but before that, if you want to learn a new video every Saturday, then please subscribe and specially press the bell icon. Without further delay, let's get into it. Now, here we'll take the example of a very well-known transmitter, which is 3051CD from Rosemount. The other transmitters, which are amazing, like Yokogawa and Anderson Hauser, follow the same philosophy. So let's take its catalog. Now, here we have various codes for it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So for a differential pressure Rosemount transmitter 3051, CD we can select any range so for example we select this range which is range 2 we can select any range depending upon the DP pressure range that the process gives us now in the same catalog you would notice something called as a static pressure limit now this static pressure limit states that for range 1 the maximum static pressure that it can experience is 137 bar but if you notice in our case 2 in the example the pressure which was hitting common on both the legs was 250 bar the static pressure was too huge and if you would have used 3051 cd just like this for this range even though it fits your dp range even if the output is 5 bar and it fits your dp range your transmitter would not be able to sustain this but don't worry there's a solution for this case what do you do in such cases let's look into it this in that same catalog you have a special code which is p9 now here it says the maximum static inline pressure goes up till how much it goes up till 310 bar so our static pressure was 250 bar so for such cases, we can use the special code P9 in our acquisition or data sheets and we can use this transmitter. This mistake is done by a lot of engineers and side queries come as why the transmitter failed, etc. So please be conscious about this thing. Also note that once you've taken care of this thing in the engineering stage, it is very easy, but on site, it becomes very difficult to rectify such issues. Also, on a side note, I've written a free ebook on engineering standards. There have been 2500 plus downloads. The link is in the comment section. If you like it, you can download the ebook. Thank you so much. Meet you next Saturday.